density. Okay, so before we start discussing density, we need to talk a little bit about units and the idea of mass and volume. Okay, so mass is generally defined as the amount of matter contained in an object. So that's its mass. Now you can kind of think of it as weight, although it's not technically the same. Now I've uh, put a little link about mass versus weight at the bottom of this slide, but we will not go over this information. It, it won't be you know, important to our discussion. So if you'd like to think about mass as weight, just go ahead. And the SI unit or the standard unit for mass is the kilogram. And in this course, we're often going to use grams. And so 1,000 grams is equal to one kilogram. Now volume is the 3D space occupied by an object. So liters is the SI unit for volume. So now we're ready to talk about density. So density is basically the amount of mass per unit volume of a certain substance. And so masses are generally given in grams and volumes can either be milliliters or cubic centimeters or cc's and one milliliter is equal to one centimeter cubed which is equal to one cc so remember cc's and centimeter cubed are the same thing and the equation for density is the mass divided by the volume and of course we're going to have our mass in grams and then our volume in either milliliters or cc's. So density is going to have units of grams per cc or grams per milliliter. And so I've put this little triangle here. I actually like this guy. So here's density, here's mass, and here's volume. So you can get all the different arrangements. So like let's say we want to calculate density, then we would take mass divided by volume. Let's say we wanted to get the volume contained by a certain substance given its mass and its density then we would say volume is equal to mass divided by density or if we want mass then we would say mass is equal to density multiplied by volume okay so using that triangle you can get anything you want nice little easy way to rearrange it Okay, so let's do a little practice problem. So we're going to calculate the density of a piece of graphite with a mass of 50 grams and a volume of 22.4 centimeters cubed. And be sure to include the units. So how do we do this? So the first thing we're going to do is identify what information we are given in the problem. All right, so the problem tells us that we have a mass of 50 grams. All right, so we're going to write that down and a volume of 22.4 centimeters cubed. Okay, so we have identified important information, and so we've identified the mass and the volume. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is just plug these guys in. Okay, so there's our mass, and we're going to know it's the mass because we know the units for mass are grams. All right, and then we're going to divide it by our volume, 22.4, and we're going to get 2.23 grams per cubic centimeter or cc. Now, just a little note, just to remind you about fractions, you take the top number, divide it by the bottom number, okay, and then you're going to get your 2.23 grams per centimeter cubed. Okay, so you try one. So go ahead and take a few seconds and go through step by step and identify the important information and then do the math. All right, so what information do we have? Well, we we're given the density this time, okay, so that's here. And we were given the volume, which is here. So we're left with mass. We want mass. Okay? Now this one, we can actually use our handy-dandy little triangle. Okay? So we have density and volume, and we want the mass. Okay? So mass is equal to density times volume. Okay? Now on the next slide, we're just going to plug that in. All right? So we're going to plug in our values, density times volume, so 0.785 grams per milliliter multiplied by 150 milliliters. And if we remember our dimensional analysis, the milliliters will go away, okay? Then we're going to end up with 117.75 grams. Now, we need to determine how many sig figs we need, okay? So let's go up here. So 0 0.785, this 0 is before the decimal point. This is not significant, so 1, 2, 3 sig figs. This 
Uh, 150 milliliters does not have a decimal point right here, so this zero is not significant. So one, two non-zero unit numbers, and so that is two sig figs. So our final answer needs to have two sig figs. So we're going to round this. All right. So rounding, we want to go 117. So we're just going to round up to two sig figs, giving us 120 grams. Okay, so try it again. So here's another here's another little mini quiz. This time you have the density of a 1.40 grams per cubic centimeter of an aspirin tablet. And we don't care about the temperature. That's just given in the problem because that's its density at that temperature. And we want to know what is the volume of this 3.90 gram aspirin tablet. So go ahead and try it. Okay, so again, we're going to identify the important information. Okay? So we are looking, we have the density and we have the mass and we're looking for the volume. Okay, using our triangle, so here we have our volume that we're looking for. We can see that that's mass divided by density. Okay, so here's our rearranged equation. And now we're going to plug everything in. So 3.90 grams divided by 1.40 grams per centimeter cubed. So both the grams are going to go away and we're going to be left with centimeters cubed or cc's. And the last step, we need to go up here and look at our sig figs. So 1.40, this zero is after this decimal point, so that is significant. So three sig figs here, same deal here with 3.90 grams, so three sig figs there. So we want to round this to three sig figs. We're going to so one, two, three. So we had would have 2.78, but this number is a five, so that means we have to round this up. So it's going to be 2.79 centimeters cubed. 